sure that we were What's up, party people? We're gonna get some coffee before I start this video. Let's make this like a little coffee date. I'm getting Starbucks. Does Starbucks have matcha? I have a new addiction and I really want to feel it. So I might get some matcha. So if you're watching this, go get yourself a coffee, treat yourself. If it's late at night, maybe get a tea. If you're any of my friends, like all of my friends I swear don't drink coffee and they all drink chai. So if you're my friends, go get yourself a chai. Let's just make this like a little coffee date. Cause that's just what I do in the normal world. Minus COVID, minus cancer. <laughs> Does Starbucks have matcha? That's what I wanna know. I feel like I've seen people get green drinks, but I don't know if it is matcha. I'm just really jonesing for it. I mean, worst case, I'll just get coffee. It's not even 3 p.m., so I could do that. But I was just in the mood to film a video, film a little cancer update because I got some new shiz, <laughs> some new information. Oh, they do have an ice matcha green tea latte. I might cry. I wonder if it's sweetened. Maybe I'll get like a pump of simple syrup in it. Should I do that? I wonder if they have a hot one. They probably do. I feel like warm matcha is just like a hug. And it feels like healthier than coffee. I don't know if it actually is, but it feels like it. Where can I put you, down here? Do you like my roll down windows? This is like a 26, 2015 Jeep. And I don't know if they were trying to be retro or what, but it has roll down windows. Okay, I'm gonna get a matcha green tea latte. I'm gonna ask if they have oat milk and then I'm gonna get like a pump of simple syrup. Let's see if it'll work. Starbucks, what can I get started for you? Hi, could I just do a matcha green tea latte? Perfect, we'll have it at the window. Okay, thank you. Yeah. He sounds so nice. Oh my god, I think she got the same thing in front of me. Twins. Great, there you go. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Okay, I just got my matcha green tea latte and I'm so excited to try it. Oh, it smells good. Hmm. It kind of just tastes milky, but it is good. I still feel like I like my one at home best, which is so interesting. It's just like a little matcha powder from World Market, but it's kind of bomb. Hey guys, Cam here. So I wanted to film a little cancer update because I feel like it's been a minute. I haven't really filmed my last couple chemotherapies because honestly chemos are pretty repetitive and the same thing happens at them. I feel like I'm gonna film my last chemo, like the whole thing, like the whole procedure and at the end I get to ring the little bell. That's coming up in a month so I'm very very excited about that. It's actually less than a month. My last chemo is on February 11th which is crazy. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you how it was going. So I am 10 chemos in now which is crazy. I only have two more and then I'll have my PET scan two weeks after that and they will tell me if I am in remission or not. I really, really hope that I am. This man is gonna see me filming myself. I'm just really, really, really hoping that my skin will come back clear after that. And I wanted to give you, I was able to look at my scan stuff. So as I've said before with Hodgkin's lymphoma, everything is rated on a Duville scale. Um, a Duville score scale, it's one to five. And I'll put that in here again, what the one to five means, but a three means that you're having a complete metabolic response, which means that your body is responding well to the chemo. And one is no uptake and five is like really bad. So if that kind of like explains the range to you. In my last scan, my head and neck were, there was just a little, it said faint uptake. In my chest, the uptake was a 1.5 compared to 2.2 last time, so it's getting super low. It's almost there. There's nothing in my abdomen like lower than my chest, which is so great. What the doctor said, so Craig, he is like the head lymphoma dude at a bigger hospital than where I'm at. He said, no change in plans, complete six cycles and repeat PET scan if in complete oh. If in complete metabolic remission, which is a Duville 3 or better, would just monitor. So I'm really hoping that 
after this last scan, I will just be in the clear and can move on with my life because, oh boy, am I ready to just close this chapter and move on and start to feel healthy again and have my headspace back and my mental health back and my physical health. I can't wait to work out and not feel like I'm gonna just hit the ground and pass out. I wanna start going to the gym. Like, I know that I have to be super safe with COVID, but I feel like that would be super good for my headspace as well as my like physical self to just go into a gym and take like an hour for myself every single day to start feeling better because your girl has been exhausted. My mental health has not been super good lately, just to be honest. Um, I just get super low. That's kind of how I describe it to my friends is I just get in this headspace where I'm like, everything sucks. I hate life nothing good is going on I just get really really low I hate being in that because it's just really hard to get out of it's like I'm like in this hole and I'm just like staring at the sky and wondering when I'm gonna get out of it and I do like I I have a naturopath and I've talked to her about how I am bouncing back very quickly which is a good sign that I'll be able to bounce back after this the fact that I have two weeks in between each chemo I have time to really kind of heal and honestly before each chemo I really really feel better sometimes I like even forget that all of this is going on because I feel so good I'm um, just doing normal day-to-day -day things whenever I try to work out I'm reminded that I have cancer we're just hoping that I can get through these last two and stay as positive as possible it's just hard because I'm in my hometown none of my college friends are here none of my high school friends are here because they're all at college and it's pretty much just me and the fam which is great i love the family but you know sometimes you just want to hang out with your friends yeah we did just go to the mountain though and that was really great to just get out for a hot sec get a change of scenery i was still quarantined i didn't even leave the airbnb we were staying at but it was good to just see a change in climate and change in scene because your girl has spent a lot of time in her room in the last five months. <laughs> One fun thing that's been going on, um, I have this support group that I started on Instagram. It's at Blood Cancer Kids. You don't need to go follow it. It's mostly just following people that are going through lymphoma or some type of blood cancer. We actually don't have any leukemia folks in there, but lots of Hodgkin gals and a couple of non-Hodgkin gals. My friend Lucas is still in it. <laughs> he is the one boy and there are 27 girls in it, which is crazy. We're all like between the ages. I think the youngest girl is 18. No, 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 there's a girl. I think she's 15 or 16 that I just added. It ranges between like 15 and I think the oldest one, she might be like 25. So kind of like young adult age. We're all either have gone through chemo recently, going through it now, or going to start soon. And it's kind of cool because we have so many people now that are at all different stages of their treatment. And so everyone has really good advice for one another. And we actually just had a couple girls just get told they're cancer free, which is amazing and just makes all of us that are going through it hopeful that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's just really awesome to be able to talk to them. If any of you are watching, I love you guys so much and love seeing you interact with one another because sometimes I feel like the admin, like I'm just kind of watching over the messages even though I am going through it myself. But it's so fun to see you guys like interact with one another and become friends. But yeah, it is just such a safe space where everyone's able to be like honest and talk about when they're frustrated with their parents or things that people say to them we all just kind of get it so yeah we've got like 28 people in there now which is crazy and we're from all over the world we've got a gal from australia a gal from the uk a few canada girlies and then a bunch of us all over the u.s oh somebody parked next to me while i'm filming myself oh okay this sun is just not nice am i seriously gonna move spots right now Fine, I'll move spots. Okay, we moved spots and now the lighting's totally different, but it's okay. We're moving on. But yeah, the support group has just been amazing. It is my dream to one day all meet up. I don't know where, when, how, if COVID will allow, if girlies will be able to transfer or transfer, be able to travel while going through chemo. I don't know, but I'd love to have a little like blood cancer convention. Convention doesn't sound very fun, but 
a little meetup because these girls are amazing and I think that it would just be so cool to be able to see them in person because we're all just social media like virtual friends right now which is cool and it's all we can do right now but it'll be so great to meet them one day. What else is new? I made a list to talk about so let's look at that list. I don't have anything else on my list but that's kind of how it's going. My port hurts every day. That's something that's not very fun. I'm so ready for my hair to grow back. It's just because it's like cold out, so I always have to have something on, whether it's a hood or a beanie. I feel most confident in a wig. This wig makes me feel pretty. It's from Amazon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this little cancer update and life update. Hope that you enjoyed your coffee or your matcha or your tea or whatever you had with me, even if it was just water. I hope you're hydrated. I am so close to finishing this journey though and just can't wait for it to all be over. I've learned so much, but I am ready for it to be over and can't wait to feel healthy again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!